Hi, my name is Kay Tai. I'm an associate professor at MIT. I'm excited to say that soon I'll be moving my lab to the Salk Institute, and I'll be continuing to focus on our research question of how does the brain process emotional valence? How do we initiate motivational drives? In this project, we wanted to think about this somewhat controversial idea that dopamine plays a role in aversion. So when Caitlin Vanderweel, a former graduate student in my lab, began her thesis work, one of the first experiments that she wanted to do was to see what the time scale was of dopamine release in the prefrontal cortex. So we found that when we presented an aversive stimulus to animals, we observed dopamine release in the prefrontal cortex coming from a midbrain region called the ventral tegmental area, or the VTA. So the next question was, what circuits coming out of the prefrontal cortex could possibly mediate this aversive role? We identified the prefrontal cortical projection to a brainstem region called the periaqueductal gray as an important projection. And when we stimulated this projection, we got both place avoidance, suggesting that animals found this aversive, and also that um, uh, an increase in defensive behaviors. Then we added the opportunity to partner up with Enscopics using their Invista technology to visualize what prefrontal cortical neurons that either projected to the periaqueductal gray or the nucleus accumbens were doing in a very, very simple task where we just presented mice with rewarding or punishing stimuli. And what we found was that neurons that projected the periaqueductal gray have different response profiles from the, those that projected the nucleus accumbens. Specifically, PAG projecting neurons had a greater response, or more of these neurons were responding to foot shock uh, rather than sucrose, as opposed to neurons in the prefrontal cortex projecting to the nucleus accumbens. And so this was exciting. We thought, okay, maybe this is the projection by which dopamine can allow, can, can um, shift prefrontal cortical function to being biased towards aversive stimuli. And so um, we wanted to ask the million dollar question, how does dopamine alter responsiveness in either of these populations? One unifying theory that we you know, spiraled in on um, is this idea of dopamine modulating signal to noise. And what that really means is if sensory information coming in that causes spikes is signal, that's real sensory driven information, um, then noise is just spontaneous firing. Fortunately, our ability to attempt these experiments was enabled by emerging technology from Enscopics, specifically the Invoke system. So the Invoke system allowed us to stimulate VTA dopamine terminals arriving into the medial prefrontal cortex while imaging projection-defined populations of neurons on a single cell resolution level. And so this was really exciting. This was the key experiment. And when we performed this experiment, we compared um, basal levels of, of calcium transients in these PFC to PAG neurons um, with and without dopamine terminal stimulation. And what we found is that when we stimulated VTA dopamine terminals in the prefrontal cortex, we got an increase in the amplitude of our calcium transients, um, but a reduction in the frequency. And so on some level, this is consistent with this idea of signal to noise. Towards this idea of dopamine playing a role in signal to noise, we were really excited to have reproduced our invoke results um, with electrophysiology and photo identification. By combining these two approaches together, we are not only able to validate the Invoke technology, but also able to show with additional confidence that the results that we thought we had were really interpreted correctly and were real. And with the physiology, we showed that that's specific to aversive stimuli. To summarize, I think the big picture advance of this study is to provide circuit level evidence that dopamine can act as the signal to drive the switch operator, the prefrontal cortex, to send information down one route or the other. Specifically in the context of aversive stimuli, uh, it, it tells the prefrontal cortex to guide that information down a projection to the brainstem that might be important for then um, translating the sensory inf information into motor action, like escape or avoidance. Mm -hmm.